Hey everyone, welcome back to Owl Dragon Adventures. Rob McPherson here, and today I am playing the second scenario of the prologue of Stars of Icarios by OOM Board Games. Alright, if you haven't watched the uh, first episode yet, we've got the first scenario uh, a little bit earlier, and today we are going to jump in with the second scenario, which is To the Sparrow. So I regrouped with the Sparrow, and turns out that was an okay idea. We had to scramble right back out immediately, and this time I've got a Ronin, two Ronin Scouts again, but one of them is an Elite Ronin Scout, so it's going to be a little bit tougher this time. Nothing to protect. My goal is just to take them both out. I was able to pick up a tech uh, upgrade here, so I picked up Cloak, which with two uh, dice, either a movement or a uh, attack dice, I can go ahead and become Cloaked. So let's go ahead and dive right back in. All right, I think the first thing I'm going to do is... Hmm. Seems so easy in my head. Can't get him into my line of sight for the long shot. Probably for the best. He's looking a little scary. I'm actually going to rotate. Use my second movement. Swoop around. Say I used an attack die to do that actually. Use my third movement around here. And I can't really do anything with these two. Well, maybe not the most productive. Oh, it could go into cloak. An interesting choice. Let's see how cloak works. Stealth. Pilots or enemies in stealth use the special, uh, the following special rules. Remain in stealth until the end of their next phase. First attack while uh, in stealth is advantaged for all targets of the attack. Stealth is removed after attacking. Cool. All right, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and drop right into stealth. This is going to make this interesting, so I can't be targeted. So, guy's going to, I'll do the elite first. He's going to move. He would rotate, but he doesn't know where I am. So he's going to stay forward. He's going to take a shot, and there's nothing there. That was an easy one to, uh, to take care of. All right, back to me. Let's see if I can swoop around, or if that stealth was in waste. Ooh. Have to do movement, stressful movement. Can't get my long shot, which is what I was hoping for. I can at least get him in a shot. So when I get advantage, I get a plus one to my attack because of proximity exploit. He's going to tick it down to two here. I did use. Cloak. So I get advantage. Gonna be a plus one. Got rid of that minus one. That's two plus one plus one. That's four damage against the elite ship right off the bat. That's not a bad start. Let me go ahead and do some repairs here. Tick my mess up by one by using that die. Back down by two. All right. He's going to rotate. He... Ooh, he does have me in the line of sight. So he's going to go ahead and he's going to take a shot at me. Minus one, but he's got a base attack at two. Or three, sorry. So that's two damage to me still. 
but he slows me. All right. And he's going to move. So no shot. He's going to move. Rotate. Still no shot. There that one shield. Oh, here we go. I'm going to use my bank. I am going to do a stress bank. I'm going to bank here. Rotate. I'm going to take long shot against him. Base three attack. Zero. One damage. Normal attack. The stress for using the stress die. Take him out right here. This is a base one. Zero. One damage. Take out the elite. Then I gotta mitigate some of that stress, so I'll put this here and knock my stress back down by two. Alright. I don't think rotating is gonna help him get close to me. No shot. I'm gonna move. Three. And still, oh, no shot no matter where he rotates. That's his turn. Back to me. Might stealth again, that was pretty nice. I think I'm gonna do that, let's see here. So first thing I'm gonna do is rotate. Take one shot at him. Plus one by two, so it's three damage to him. I'm gonna use these last two to use my last stealth. All right. So his turn. Rotate, doesn't know where I am. Take a shot, no go. I'm gonna fly forward and go to here. Rotate, doesn't know where I am. No shot. Might be able to do this. Let's see. Mint. Rotate here. Go ahead, take this, uh, take this shot here. There's going to be an advantage because I'm in stealth. When it's advantage, I get a plus one. Whew, that is a good advantage to have. That's a crit. One, two, three, critted. That's six. Suck him out. All right, success. The last Ronin ship explodes into fragments and you can finally catch your breath. The skirmish is a bit far from Medelia for an invasion force. Unfortunately, a quick check of your scanners revealed that the assault has been catastrophically successful so far. UIA ships have been gunned desperately flee from Medelia. Craft from all over the galaxy make for jump points, heading to the safety of their home systems. Hopefully, the more you save today, the more we'll fight back another day. You take up a holding position near the Sparrow. The sheer volume of enemies around Medelia makes that pit in your stomach grow even heavier. But there is something that gives you hope. It seems that the enemy ships are pulling back. So as a reward, I'm going to get a pilot skill. I'm going to get 10 credits. I get a ship upgrade. And each pilot may purchase one weapon upgrade from cards 1 to 9 for 5 credits less than normal. Then we're going to move on to scenario 4. Awesome. So that was scenario 2 of the prologue of Stars of Akarios. I've got a few more to go in this series to introduce you to this game. If you like what you saw, please do give a like and subscribe down below. And until next time, thank you for joining us on our board game adventures.